An important part of developing Android applications involves the interaction between the code and the views that make up the user interface layouts. This section will look at the options available for gaining access to layout views in code with a particular emphasis on an option known as view winding. So once the basics of view windings has been covered, this lecture will outline the changes that necessary to convert our sample project to use this approach. As outlined in the previous lectures entitled The Anatomy of Android Application, all of the resources that make up an application are compiled into a class named R. We will learn more about R class in this section of our class. So, uh, this R class among these resources are those default defined layouts. So, this R class contains the layout resources, including views, that make up the user interface. The most applications will need to implement interaction between the code and these views. So, for example, when reading the value uh, that enter to edit text or text view, uh, then or uh, changing the text displayed on the text view. So, you will need this error layout. So, over the years, a number of different approaches to referencing layout views have been introduced. So, the oldest option involves writing the code uh for example like actually let me let me open the our files and so our class files is deleted so actually create a new project empty pro activity and view finding our project is compiling now building itself Here, over the years, a number of different approaches to referencing layouts uh, we have been introduced. So the oldest option involves writing code to manually find a view based on its ID via a method named find view by ID. For example, we can actually actually uh, we had the text view here, as you remember uh, that this text view is default. Actually, let's make uh, this text size bigger so we can when we start our Android virtual device we can see it actually let's start our Android virtual device also and here common attributes text appearance text size and increase the text size to 48 and as you can see yeah this is our text file this is our Android virtual device actually let's delete the, our older applications that we've wrote it and the example applications here uninstall yes also I want to uninstall the object or programming ship game because as you remember this ship game was uh, working with uh, with the log files with the log file uh, log cat so we didn't actually have the user interaction uh, with the phone here but in after this uh, sections of our course uh, we will have the user interface layouts so let's actually use the val uh, my text view uh, we're going to use the find view by id method my text view and text view text view oops text view and we're going to equal to find view by id and r dot id dot and this is the r class that i've been talked about in the previous um, minutes of our lecture r dot id dot uh, what was the id of our text so with our text view has no id so we're gonna give it id manually open this actually let's pre uh, let's close the our here and here we have several options here and we got some 
here click on attributes if you if it's not opening by double clicking clicking on it uh click here the attributes and we're gonna give it an id here go up and id uh, my text view and as you can see here our id is changed here so we're gonna go to main activity and name it an id my text view we also need to import the text view object so actually we don't need that uh, we will import the text view widget and uh, press keyword combination with alt enter or click on the just import here and here as you can see we got no errors and delete this uh characters here so you don't need this for now but you can also use this uh and we will use this in declaring next lectures here and we can also change this my text view dot text um here oxley check oxley youtube channel youtube channel here and let's actually start our application And as you can see here, we actually uh, write a check, but the sense the text size is so big, we're gonna actually in uh, decrease the size a little bit here, like this. And actually, let's make it bigger. And let's start our application again. And as you can see, check Oxley YouTube channel. And let's uh, we can also play it uh, with the text size and other. Uh, properties of this and we got some error here i don't uh, yeah we got some error here no it's just a bug yeah as you can see we write a check oxley youtube channel here so in fact until the introduction uh, we we use this uh, code for this but it's actually been deprecated and uh, there's a more modern ways to do and change or manipulate your text views so the in, until the introduction of Android Studio 6.3.6, uh, uh, this was still the only option when developing Android applications in Java. But since we are uh, developing more futuristic and more uh, modern way uh, with Kotlin, and for Kotlin programmers, the situation improved when synthetic properties were added to the Kotlin extension. So we're gonna, uh, and we, th that requires the Kotlin Android extension plugin. To be included uh, in the module gradle build file here so we're gonna go to builder here and click on that actually module here and uh, not not the project uh, gradle we're gonna go to module here and here as you can see we have several uh, dependencies uh, compile options calling options build types mixed here Let's unclose our Android application, Android virtual device. And here, we're gonna add into the plugin sections, we will add ID uh, Kotlin Android and ID Kotlin Android extensions. Here, and we're gonna sync it now. So we can also do this by simply importing the Kotlin synthetic properties for the layout. So it's possible to direct access views by ID. So this approach is the approach that was used in this uh, project and was made possible via this import statement. Here we're gonna uh, actually import this, uh, import, Kotlin X, actually, what was the wrong here? Import, yeah. Implementation here. And Kotlin X, Android in ethic main activity main main dot here. And let's sync it now. Okay. 
Try again. Actually, for now, we don't need it anymore because we already imported uh, the Kotlin Android extensions on Kotlin Android here. So, when VBinding is enabled in an application module, the Android Studio automatically generates a binding class for each layout file within the module. So, using the binding class, the layout views can be accessed from within the code without the need to use find view by ID or Kotlin Synthetic properties so they the name of the binding class generated by android studio is based on the layout file converted to to do so camel case so with the word binding appended to the end in the uh, case of activity main xml file uh, here open this code here as you can see we got we can also see it with the code style or we can split it and design it like this. So um, here we enabled it uh, view binding on our Android application, and uh, we will convert uh, enable view binding uh, within the also module here. Uh, this is not the module. This is a view Gradle only, and uh, in the Android here we will. Here we will add the build features. Well, do we have build features here? No. We will add the build features and we will make the view binding to true. And let's try again. Okay, we successfully enabled the view binding. So once this change has been made, um, as I did earlier, is click on the sync now to the editor. Uh, panel then use the build menu to clean and rebuild the project to make sure the being uh, being class is generated so the next step is to use the binding class with in the code so we're gonna go to main uh, activity and here as you can see here our actually let's let's select this Here, so to switch uh, to use the view binding, the view binding class will need to be imported and the class modified as follows. So, uh, note that the, since the layout file uh, is named activity main.xml here, actually, uh, yeah, we've got an error here. So, so since our activity main.xml, we can summarize that the binding class generated by Android Studio will be named activity main binding so note that if you use the domain other than uh, com typhoon view binding then creating the project the import statement below here actually uh, you need to change the import statement here import import uh, com dot our typhoon that Android sample uh, actually view binding that data binding. Yeah, we, we need to uh, rebuild our Gradle here. We'll also go to invalid chats. So we don't know the restart the notification so since we already did this we're gonna just import home dot uh typhoon dot v binding dot uh, data binding so it may not show uh, if you press the suggestions but uh, you just need to write a data binding and as you can see uh, we got it and click on activity main binding and as you can see we imported it uh, successfully and after that we're gonna create outside the on create function in the main activity class we're gonna create the private 
late init late init variable and we're gonna make it bind binding and activity main binding so here we will delete this we don't need this anymore and here we're gonna use the binding dot activity main binding dot inflate uh, layout inflator and we're gonna set content view uh, set content view binding dot root so now that we have a reference to the binding we can access the views by name uh, for example like we can change the uh, we can actually let's create the uh, an, an example application that will change our dollar text uh, dollar value to euro value actually and uh, we will make this id so make this id the dollar text the factor and we're going to create an condition here if our binding that dollar text is empty is not empty is not empty mm, yeah if our binding that dollar text that text that is not empty then while value value dot dollar value equals binding dot dollar text dot text dot to string to string and to float so first we're gonna convert it to string and then to float here and it will also create a value euro value value actually let's search uh, about the opera and see C dollar to USD. Uh, no dollar to yeah, USD. USD to Euro. It's zero point uh, zero point ninety two, and Euro value is gonna be dollar value uh, multiplied by zero point ninety two float. And after that, we're gonna use the binding dot text view uh, no binding dot we will also create another text yeah actually let's delete this and we will create a text view and another text view actually uh, we will make it look bigger and text size is gonna be 20 and we're gonna add another no we can actually control copy and paste that so this is our this is gonna be our euro text or um, yeah this is our go, gonna be text view just a normal text view and this is gonna be the dollar text dollar or usd text here and this is gonna be upper lower one make the constraints here 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 and let's make it in the middle here okay now uh, we're gonna yeah we actually have the dollar text now instead of writing dollar text, we changed it so we're gonna have to use the usd text usd text and also here usd text and uh, binding usd text uh, is gonna actually let's delete we don't need this space at every code so uh here we have usd text that text binding usd text dot text or 
finding text view dot text we're gonna uh, change the text view value to euro value dot to string to string and else uh, if our uh binding use usd text dot text is empty then is uh, it's gonna be that text binding 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 dot text view that text is signed to get string from the r dot string dot no no value string or r dot string dot or we can actually just do just an empty string here And let's actually run our application and see what happens here. Gradle invocation finished is zero errors. But as you can see, we got an error here. So see it. Why? Actually, as you can see, our keybinding keeps stopping. Uh, for input string text view caused by Java number format exception. And then we can actually binding use the text that text to float yeah actually we can just make the integer our while my, uh, my bank and it's gonna be integer and 1000 for example i have 1000 in bank and dollar value is gonna be my bank dot two string. Euro value is gonna be our my bank, my bank, and multiply by here and plus this. Or yeah, we don't need it. And let's compile it again. And as you can see here, we changed our dollars to the euros here with the use of the b binding 